ghetto trash. Trying to be a makeup artist. No. <laughs> um, just trying to really make it. Show my child and the people that grew up with me and know me that, you know, you don't always have to be what you grew up in. There's a whole other, another life out there besides the ones that you got. And if you're not happy with it, you can always change it because your life depends on you and how you want to make it. If you want to be successful, if you believe you'll be successful, you'll be successful. If you think you're going to fail, you're going to fail regardless. It's all about how you perceive your life and how you go about your life. If you feel like you're in a situation where you're depressed or you feel like you can't get up, always remember that somebody really does have it worse than you and you can always make it because there are so many opportunities here. There's no reason for you to sit on your ass and act like you can't do nothing because it's that people out here living that shouldn't be. It's people out here living their fucking life. So you need to live yours too because you know we don't have long here on this earth. We're here for a good time, but not a long time. So you gotta remember that. <laughs> Growing up in the projects, it wasn't cool to be white. You didn't want to be white. It was dangerous to be white. <laughs> I don't think I didn't know I was white. Yeah, I mean, I my sister, y'all can't see white. her, but my sister, she's all white. She looks just like me, just all white. And I mean, growing up, we never knew that we was, had color issues. I mean, we were just black kids. Girl with the corn rolls. Yeah, I mean, she wore cornrows, <laughs> beady bobbies. You know, my mama and them put little braids in her head. So she grew up like we did and looked like we did. I never really understood that my sister was white until I got older and realized she got white privilege and I don't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, but for real, I get pulled up. I get pulled up before she will. But yeah, it, colorism wasn't the ism for us. I mean, everybody was the same, equal. Because when I mean, you grew up with nothing, hell, you just like me. Fuck you. <laughs> you ain't got more than I do. We just the same. So that's how you live your life. I mean, living in the country is just about the same everywhere here. Everybody's equal. Did they get mad at you, then you're a nigga. <laughs> that. Pretty neat out here. And I don't want that to be the center, but I want people to see this. See, like, you don't have to be where you grew up, but you can still be proud. Because I'm proud as hell to be where I'm from. I love my little small town Lebanon. And right now it's kind of going to shit, but I'm proud to be where I'm from. That someone sees this that's from the way and if by the way you know what I'm talking about if you're from the way you know how the way of life is and I hope that you can see this and think that positive is the way to go and it's not always violence and you know murder and rape and drugs it's more than that there's more to life way more than what you see every day that goes on in your normal hood it's way more Thank <laughs> you.